it's no longer regarded how asbestos fibers end up inside the tunica vaginalis in the first place. In the instances of pleural and peritoneal mesothelioma, the asbestos fibers are inhaled or ingested respectively. They then make their way into the lungs or digestive system. Way into the lungs or digestive system. Right now, it's uncertain what path the asbestos fibers take so one can attain the tunica vaginalis. However when they make their manner into this inclined tissue, they can't be expelled. As an alternative, they remain trapped deep inside the tunica vaginalis for years or decades. After an extended period of causing inflammation and infection, eventually, in any other case healthful cells turn strange and begin dividing and spreading quickly. Unchecked cell boom is the basis of most cancers, and is what ultimately results in fatalities. As most cancers spreads, it shuts down nearby organs and spreads into the immune filtration system. Like any cancers, testicular mesothelioma can be managed or stopped with early remedy intervention. If medical doctors stumble on testicular mesothelioma early sufficient, they can prevent it from spreading to remote sites and provide the affected person a better risk at survival.